Hey guys, finally I get to do this video. I have managed to find all of the Me Meows stuff. So I have some figures to open for you guys. I have some plushies to open and I have both of the different dolls. So the Ultimate Mystery Surprise set, which is $40 and I found it at Walmart in the store, and then the fashion doll, which was, I believe, $15, possibly $20, which I also found in stores, and I'm so excited. So these came out last year, the plushies, and I loved them. I have almost all of the first litter, I think. I might be missing one. I don't remember. I kept getting doubles. It was really irritating, um, and then this is series two. I've already been collecting them, just haven't really been filming videos about it, and since I finally found the dolls, I also bought two more plushies to open for you guys, and two of the figures. So these retail for, I think, somewhere in the seven to eight dollar range. It depends, like different stores have them listed differently. And then these plushies are 10 to 12 each. All right, so I think we're gonna start with the doll because of course this is a doll channel and I need somebody to care for all of these cats. I know absolutely nothing about this person, by the way. I just really like these um, dolls and plushies and stuff. Um, and I think that's really cool that the merch is transcending the person. I think more merch should be like that because a lot of merch just um, just ends up meaning nothing to people, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's get started. So, oh wait, you're supposed to open this a certain way, so I'm going to ignore that area. Oh, okay. Well, I just really royally messed that up. Sorry. All right. So you're actually supposed to punch out these perforated areas. Everything flew out, so I just put them back on shelves. So they're probably not going to be on the right shelves. Um, and I did spoil which cat I'm gonna get already, so let's open this area first. Um, so our first cat, and the special thing about this is that even if you have been collecting these, this isn't gonna be the same because these are sparkly variants, and I believe it can be any of the cats. I don't know how the batching of that works or if there's any way to know which one you're gonna get, but this is the little hamburger one. Here's the UPC, by the way, and then if this means anything towards which cat you get, there you go. Um, so it's a sparkly version and I mean unlucky for me because I was hoping to get a different one but luckily I can show you the difference so it's the same it just has a glitter coating but I really like that so that um, if you've already been supporting by buying these you know you're not getting screwed over I think that's really nice of them uh, you get a sticker I wish it was a Mimeo sticker but it's okay. For the people that are fans of this particular person, I'm sure it's really exciting not only to have this really cute merchandise, but also have it actually represent somebody. Okay, again, I don't know if this actually goes behind this door because I messed up, but let's see. Okay, so we got a hairbrush with the cute little logo on it. Awesome. And then the tissue paper that also has the little cat symbol on it, and it's actually two pieces there. And then our last surprise. So I guess one of the surprises was that sticker. All right, let's see what's in here. I think this is her tail. Yeah. Oh, and this is probably how you put on the tail. Interesting. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. I guess this is one of the surprises they're counting. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, and now let's get our doll out of here. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, it says one fashion doll, one headband, one pair of shoes, one tail, one brush, one cat figure, and one vinyl sticker. Oh, look. The headband is hidden. That's the other surprise. Okay, I was gonna say, are they really counting this as a surprise? Uh, Cause it's a piece of the tail, but no, the headband is hidden. Cool. Okay, it's kind of a neat idea. All right, so let's get our doll out of here. I'll be right back. So first I'm gonna show you the doll just as she comes and then I will put all the accessories on. So the doll actually has some quite pixelated paint on her eyes, but I don't mind it too much. Like I think it looks okay, but it is pretty noticeable if that's something that would bother you. And I think the face style and the overall look, like the look of it is very, very cute. Mine has some messy hair. There's gel to do these little face framing pieces, but otherwise the hair is product free. It's super soft. It's definitely nylon hair, which I like. That's the same hair that Rainbow High Dolls use, if you're wondering. And she comes with a little coat or like cardigan and a molded on top and these little shorts. Very simple pieces, but very cute regardless. And then let's check out the shoes and how they work. Okay, so the feet are featureless with molded on socks. 
I bet she can stand on her own really well even without the shoes, but she can definitely stand on her own with the shoes. I was kind of hoping she'd come with a doll stand since this is meant to be merch more than it is a fashion doll. Um, but she stands super well on her own actually because of the kind of shape of the feet and shoes. So that's nice. The hairbrush, um, it's kind of a weird design for a hairbrush. Like this isn't going to do any kind of detangling. I guess it's like, ooh, I can play like I'm brushing the hair. And it is nylon, so it'll stay nice for a long, long time. So shouldn't be a big deal. All right, so now let's put the tail together. So it looks like you just snap this on. Okay, so it's a belt and it's meant to hang downward according to the art. So let's see. You can put it over or under the coat. Oh, is there a slot in the back? Never mind, so it's gotta go. There is a slot in the back, okay. I wonder why they did a slot in the back that's kind of shallow instead of doing like a deeper slot in the back, I guess, that could just hold the tail without the belt, but this is probably more secure. And the tail has a little like ribbon or wrap or belt or something on it. It's very cute. I like that it's a, like a fluffier cat's tail. And then the headband, it's just purple cat ears, you put it right on her. And interestingly, I just assumed she was meant to be like a like a wear cat or like a cat woman but in the art the cat ears look like a headband so i don't know if that was for the fashion doll situation or maybe that's just she's just meant to be a girl wearing a cat costume i have no idea but now i have my doll she is the mother of the cats and this is a really nice doll if the retail is truly $15, like the walmart.com listings say, honestly, I just grabbed her off the shelf immediately when I saw her. I was so excited. Um, I didn't check. But that's really fair, especially considering you get one of the Mimiows minifigures, since the Mimiows minifigures are basically half the price of the doll ordinarily, and it's a special version. Um, is she the most amazing fashion doll ever made? Of course not. But I think for people who are fans of the... She's a YouTuber, right? She's like a gaming YouTuber. Um... This is fantastic to be able to, like, have a doll of the personality that you like or her character or whatever this is. Um, but also for people that don't know or care about this person, uh, which is no no hate to her. I just don't know who it is. Um, it's a really cute doll. So you don't really need to know who she is. And I think that was really, really smart. And, I like, I really appreciate that nowhere on any of the packaging does it say, like, Okay, it's very small, but it does say it. It says you can discover more at Afmo Gaming. But you see, like, it doesn't make it very obvious that this is a YouTuber. I don't know. It is advertising for her, of course. Okay, so now we're going to open a plushie, and I wanted to show you the trick that I've used to... I've only gotten one double so far from before I knew this trick. Okay, so the cat ears are up like this, and there's this little plastic wrap, right? But the the plushies inside are not wrapped so the way i know which one i'm gonna get and this doesn't damage the packaging at all so if it's one that you don't unless you have larger fingers like brett damaged the packaging on the one that he peeked at um but you just push this down and as you can see that one is red and there's only one red one and it was the one that we're missing the demon one so yeah that's why i got this one and then i'm also missing the angel one so we're getting the angel and the devil so i just pushed this down angel was tricky but luckily uh the part that was right there i could see the little whiskers or whatever those are i think it's blush and yeah so it won't ruin the experience for the next person like you're not full-on unboxing something which um you know so that's the way that i've managed to only get one double and again i only got one double because i wasn't doing that before so anyways because <laughs> I think it was the first time I bought them. I just bought like five off of the thing when I found them. And two were strawberry ones. Or no, it was that I ordered them on Amazon. That's what it was. Okay, so I guess I just showed you what they both were. I ruined the suspense for you guys. But I wanted to show like how you can find out who you're going to get, basically. Um, so here's this little demon one. So these are super nice, actually. They're made out of, I think the fabric is minky which is like the softest fabric ever. It's so soft, very similar to what Squishmallows are made out of. And they have that stuffing that is very like, you can't feel knots in it or anything. You can't even really tell that it's stuffing. They just, and they stretch. Like, I don't know. I'm a big, big fan of this. And this little demon one, Brett's favorites actually, normally he doesn't pick the most masculine version of things, but this time he did. His favorites were the dragon and the demon. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited that we finally have both of the ones that he likes. I was so bummed before I knew the the trick uh because i kept bringing them home all excited and then he would never find the ones that he wanted so these two both i had to peek to get and this one seems rare like i i only found one of these and i looked at five whole display cases full 
um, untouched display cases. Okay, so these are all the options. So there's a unicorn, an ice cream, nether, which is the demon, mermaid, dragon, angel, strawberry, and fairy. And my other one is definitely the angel. Luckily, they're all pretty different, so you can tell who you're going to get. The ones that you might have trouble with potentially would be these two, and potentially these ones if you don't have good lighting. Just use your phone flashlight. Um, and then you can see the Little Mermaid one and the Little Cat one, or sorry, the Unicorn one. Interestingly, this is just something I wanted to point out. The Mermaid one's eyes are very close together, but they're not in the prototype. So I wonder why they changed it. Because I preferred this one. But that's okay. Anyway, so I guess we'll open the other plushie since I've already showed you what it's going to be. Um, I should have just showed you with one. But I needed the angel and now I have the angel. So I do have the first the full second set now. I don't have the full first set. I'm pretty sure I'm still missing one. I think it's the donut, but I don't 100% remember. Um, we haven't unpacked them yet, but here's the angel. So cute. I love the little details, and I love that when they add the details, they're not made out of scratchy fabric because these are plushies, you know, um, but sometimes when they do embellishments, they'll do it out of, like, really um, weird textured fabric, and this is actually still, like, an overall pretty soft fabric which i'm a fan of and these are so cute you're so cute i love your little halo so yeah now we have an angel and a devil very fun okay so now i'm gonna open one of these hopefully it's not a double uh, i think i might have discovered a code on the packaging so this is f11605 smdc the one i'm about to open you can see that and then this one is f11606 so potentially there are codes on the packaging, but don't take my word for it. Like don't 100% trust that unless someone in the comments can um, verify that. We will have to see. Okay, so let's get into this one and then we'll open the ultimate mystery surprise. I know that's what you're here for. Um, let's see who we got. Please don't be a double. I should have closed my eyes. It looks like it is. It's the taco one again. Ah, blast. It's okay. He's very cute. Um, so this is the taco cat again, and I do have a friend that I'm like going to be sending these doubles that I get to. I've already um, designated them as the receiver of my double plushie as well because they love this sort of stuff. Okay, so now for the ultimate mystery surprise. So this is very um, not an awe inspired. It comes with the big like hat box case. That's the animal. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing or like they copied. I'm just, you know. Um, it also comes with a figure. This one says it's exclusive, but I think the other one said that too. So I wonder, it doesn't say exclusive glitter, but there's also an exclusive doll. She's wearing like a World of Warcraft-esque outfit, like a Blood Elf outfit. It's quite cute. Got the contents. Here's the SKU number for anybody interested. Or the UPC, excuse me, that's not a SKU. Um, shows you all the stuff you're gonna get. There's a little tag that also says you're getting mystery surprises. Like, hmm, I wonder what that could be. Maybe the cat ears. Okay, so I'm going to get this partially unboxed. All right, so as I said earlier, the set retails for $40, which I'm still on the fence about that because if the normal doll is $15, is there that much extra value in this? $25 worth? I'm not sure. The hat box is very cute though. Uh, the, it's not as nice of quality as the plushies are, like the material is made out of, but that makes sense because it's huge. Um, I really like the embroidered design. I think it looks great. The ears are a little thin, like they don't super well hold their shape and all the details are actually printed on, but that's okay. Like all these types of details. Um, and then I forgot to cut that off. But yeah. Oh, I did really appreciate that the areas that it's tied into the packaging, they actually sewed little ribbons so that it wouldn't harm the integrity of the actual box. Um, I really like this box. I'm definitely going to use it to continue to store my doll stuff inside. All right, so now let's open this. So it has a darker purple zipper. You have to be careful not to... Oh, there's a little tie here. Keep you from all the way unzipping it. Okay. And there's one here too. That might explain why the ear was flopping backwards. Mm, it's still thin though. Okay. Ooh, so let me change the camera angle really fast. All right, so this is what our ultimate mystery surprise setup is. So you just punch through essentially. I'm going to start with the doll so that all the accessories can go straight onto the doll. So let's get in and see her. Okay, I was really worried she'd have a bunch of uh, sculpted accessories, like sculpted onto her body permanently, which... Oh, you could actually use that as a stand. Um, I don't mind when there's sculpted accessories on dolls. I want to make that clear. And I can't reach to cut these ties right now. <laughs> She's uh, really tied in here. There we go. Okay, well, to take the doll out, you have to take this out of the box. But it's okay. 
put it back. Anyway, I'm not super picky. Like, I don't absolutely loathe anytime there's any sculpted on accessory. Like, I think this looks fine, and for the price, it's not a big deal to me. Um, but for, a, like, the premium version, I would want to see something different. Um, screening is identical. I think this one's just slightly misplaced. Um, as you can see, your eyes are a little bit higher. But at least that makes my dolls slightly different, because otherwise they are identical. I mean, I guess there's no socks on this one. And the dress is very, very simple, which I worry about when it's saying this is like a premium fashion doll. Um, but, you know, it just has no trims. Everything is printed on. Um, like, no hems, but this, at least this outfit was fully hemmed. I don't know. Anyway, super soft hair. The gel is actually placed correctly here so you can see what it's kind of supposed to look like. And I'll show you the extent of the articulation because it's not amazing. So that's about as far apart as her legs can go. Um, she can sit fine. She will have a tendency to kind of lose balance though. She has molded on underwear and painted. Um, the arm movement's also slightly weird. I wish that they could bend their elbows, at least this ultimate mystery one, because this one is more expensive. But um, it would be really cute if they could actually hold the cats. But I really like the body sculpt on these. It's a very cute art style. All right, let's set her aside for now. And we'll start unboxing the other accessories. So let's get, this looks like a maybe a fortune cookie and the hairbrush. So let's see. The doll fell over, by the way. Um. Oh, they're cats. <laughs> they are pixelated cats, and they must be little bracelets, perhaps? We'll see. All right, and then her hairbrush is made on this, like, nice iridescent type of material, whereas this one's not. All right, um, we'll save the cat until after we get all the accessories out, because that's what I'm very, very excited about. Okay, and then we have the shoes, which are a different sculpt. They are little boots. These are super cute. Very, like, magical girl. Adorable. I don't know, the outfit just really reads as, like, a blood elf outfit to me, but I doubt it is. I think it's just kind of meant to be a generic magical girl-ish outfit. Um, but that's okay. Anyways. See what's in here? I don't... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is for me. I actually love this. This is really cute. Little costume jewelry. I love the little angel wings. See, this, like, merch line is just top-notch. Like, it's so cool. I love this. I've never seen... I mean, I'm sure it exists, but a YouTuber that kind of targets children with their content... I, I don't know if this person does, but the, this is a children's toy line, so I assume they must. Um, have merch that's this thoughtful... I guess, like, it's not just random cash grab. Like, I really feel like this had effort put in. And I, I'm pretty sure this person did these plushies, like, prior to this Bonkers Toys thing. I think this, like, I think they were doing their own, like, artistic endeavors before this. And I think it really is just amazing. I cannot praise it enough. Okay, so this, I think, is, like, a shoulder piece. And then this is a little sash belt. Cute. And then in here, I hope the tail and ears are different in some way. I wish they were glittery. I know they're not going to be. Um, but that would be really cute to make it a little bit more premium. I'm assuming they're identical, which is not a big deal. Yeah, okay. Um, well, the color of the belt on the tail is different. But otherwise, they're identical. They've got the same. Which isn't a big deal. Those are just kind of, like, anatomical pieces for the doll, I guess. Okay, now for the cat. But wait, we're going to unbox this one first so we can uh, know if we get a double. Because what if this is one that I don't already have, but then it's actually the one that we got in this other thing. Oh, and the code on this box, it's hard to see, but it's F11606SMDG. Um, maybe that means something? I don't know. We will find out. Um, so the ones that I'm missing are the little dragon the mermaid and the unicorn so obviously i want the mermaid that's the doll <laughs> but i'd really like to have the dragon one too uh, no <laughs> we got a hamburger again <laughs> now that's my third one okay um so hopefully this isn't a hamburger <laughs> let's see okay so that debunks the code theory because those two had different codes oh god i can't tell the color of this one through it looks pink i think this is either the oh I don't know. Is this actually an exclusive one? Because I... Is it the... Maybe it's the angel? Yes, okay. So this is the angel, but I think it is exclusive to this set, actually, now that I think about it. Or now that I look at her, because the colors match with the other one. Okay, so this is a different angel. 
Oh, the angel's not one of these. Okay. But it is a completely different design than the other angel, the plushie. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's dress up our doll. Okay, well, I'm very happy about that. I was so scared it was going to be like another hamburger. <laughs> um, let's get all of the accessories on. Oh, how does this work now? Because there's still going to be a slot for the tail, right? I guess the dress is slightly loose, so it should be able to like, let's see. I don't know if they thought that one through. It works, but it's uh, it rides up in the back quite a bit. Um, I, I could cut a slit in it if I wanted to, but it's not going to bother me enough. Um, to think I need to worry about it. I wish she came with a tiara or a necklace to match mine. I'm actually wearing the necklace as a tiara right now. I'll show you in a little bit. Maybe not. I might look bad. Um, okay. Let's see. This is a very cute design for the outfit. I wish that the dress had slightly more effort, but it's not a huge deal to me. It's still a very, very cute thing going on. Okay, let's get the belt on. Very easy to put on the doll, which is a relief because that looked like one of those really difficult to use um, little snaps. Hmm. So this is the like ultimate mystery set doll. Do I think this doll's value is $25 over the value of the $15 doll? No. Um, the unboxing experience is identical. The amount of accessories is almost the same. Um, I guess one of the surprises isn't a sticker. Hold on. It is nice that one of the surprises isn't like a sticker because to me when it says like, ooh, it comes with five surprises and then one is a sticker that's like, really guys? It's not even like a sparkly sticker or a puffy sticker or anything. Um, but like, this is interesting because, and I, I think I know what they're doing with this. So everything in this line, at least by my perception and compared to other things on the market, is very affordable, like stunningly affordable. $15 for this doll with this minifigure is insane. The minifigures being $7 each is a bit pushing it, but overall, like, that makes sense considering how blind box toys work when you put them on the shelves. The plushies being $12 each. For the size of the plushies, it's iffy, but for the plushies themselves, like, in the quality and everything, I think that's overall decently fair. This is a steal, so I think they want you to, like, get excited about the rest of the line. Like, your kid is enjoying the line or you're enjoying the line, and then you see that there's, like, a, ooh, that's the premium set, you're gonna end up buying it, you know? Um, I think that's what they're going for. I'm not sure. They're very, very cute dolls, though. I'm I'm a big fan of these. If they release more, I will continue buying more. I'm <laughs> very irritated with this hamburger cat situation, because um, I'm still missing three but I, I do really appreciate that the $40 set does come with an exclusive cat. That's another incentive to get it. So if you add together everything that it comes with, like this is seven-ish dollars to the value. Then we have the $15 doll. I'll give them like $5 for the accessories. So that's like 20, we're, we're getting around the $30 mark, right? And then you get the big hat box, which I guess you need to consider in this. So I guess I can see where the $40 came from. Oh, I really like this little um plastic gem. It's actually really cute. Um, like, I, I can see where they got $40 from. If it was $30, this would be very justified. Like, I would not mind the price at all. But at $40, it's a bit questionable. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. Are these meant to go on your wrist? Like, they're not shown on the wrists. They must be a reference to something. Um, I mean... It's kind of neat. I'm assuming this is what you're supposed to do with them. All right, so... That is it for this video. I really love these and I wanted to share them with you guys, especially considering the price point. The price points are very, very fair for these. Y'all know how I feel about cats. I absolutely love cats. This is a entirely cat-centric line of merchandise that spans from cute plushies to cute little figure. The minifigures are my favorite. I really hope they continue. Um, well, I don't know if the figures or the plushies are my favorite, but my favorite thing to just carry around with me just anywhere I go is going to be either a doll or a minifigure. Minifigures for like dolls, you have to, they're high maintenance, you know, you got to deal with their hair. You got to make sure they're not losing accessories and stuff, but figures, I can just pop this in my pocket and go. Um, so I love little minifigures like this. Ever since I was a kid, these were my favorite things. So these are going to be so special to so many people. And I think that's super cool. I like, um, I think Bonkers Toys, which is the company that makes these, has some really good ideas and they're making really cool things and I can't wait to see what's next from them.
And I'd like to know what you guys think of these. Bonkers is also doing that Addison Rae doll line that I showed at Sweet Sweet. I like some of the accessories, especially the fashion packs, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm sold on the dolls yet, just because I don't know anything about that person either. And the dolls are reasonably okay looking, but they're not- I don't collect celebrity dolls, so they don't really um, have a place in my collection, but I might end up with a few. They're cute. Um, and I'm sure they're going to mean a lot to fans of the personality, and that's what ultimately matters. Um, I think these are really cool. I'd love to see, and I I think Bonkers has done it before, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'd like to see an original IP from Bonkers, like their, their team, possibly, because I think they have really, because these, at this price point, this really reasonable price point, they are paying royalties to use the Afmau name, I assume, unless she's using them as, like, a merge provider and she's paying them fees. I don't know how this works, but they're not getting like the full amount of money they would be getting if this was their own IP, you know? So I'd be really curious to see what this company can produce via their own um, IPs because the fact that this is like a large spanning line, it's got the figures, it's got the fashion dolls, it's got the plushies, and they're all really nice quality, interesting pieces is very impressive to me especially because this is a relatively smaller company. I think they mostly operate in, like, the YouTuber merch realm. I didn't check the other side of the table, but I think they had some other, like, toy channels and stuff. They had merch for them, but I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think of these. They're very cute. Anyway, <laughs> for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Wait, okay, favorite doll? Honestly, I have to say it's this one. I just think this one came out better. This one is super fun, though. I do really like the concept of this one, but I think the execution was a bit lacking. And this one has a misprinted face. It's not bad. Like, it would never bother most people, but I don't like that the eyes are slightly higher. I think the eyes look better when they're lower like this. Fits the art style better. And then my favorite of the figures... You know it's going to be between these two. Um, or the mermaid. If I got the mermaid, that would change. Um, I think the fairy is still my favorite. I really like the fairy. I think I used this in one of my recent videos, right? Like, this was my little avatar. I was doing, like, that little touch-up thing. Hey, everyone! Um, favorite plushie? I think I'm gonna have to go with the fairy. <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, I'll go! Um, I need to figure out if there is a glitter variant of the fairy, because in which case I'm in trouble. I am in trouble, because I will have to find... I will have to continue buying this doll. Um, anyway... For real this time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Like, I 100% know that this is intended to be a necklace, but, like, this is cute. I, I actually love this. Like, I might actually use this for something. Okay.